In this video, we're going to learn about lessons 7 and 8 in the Spatial Viz app, which is rotations about one and two axes. And so once you learn how to rotate a 3D object about one axis, you can easily do the same thing to rotate it about a second axis. It's just much harder. So let's talk about three axes of rotation. So in 3D, you can rotate an object about the different axes, and we typically define them as the X, Y, and Z axis. And we use something called the right-hand rule that tells you that if you have the, right, uh, the X axis going out to the right-hand side and the Y axis going up, then the Z axis is going in that direction. And so this is a standardized uh, way to draw the Cartesian coordinate system. And so we can look at real life examples of why rotations are important. So let's look at airplanes. So an airplane, um, we call um, when an airplane is, is um, taking off or um, landing, then you the airplane's nose goes up or down. And you can see that the airplane is rotating. In this case, it's rotating about the Z axis. Um, so it's going up and down about the Z axis. So that's called pitch. The airplane can also uh, roll or rotate about the x-axis. So that's when you're trying to make a, a right-hand turn or a left-hand turn. You're rolling about a different axis. And then the last one is yaw, and it might be where you you something wind comes and you kind of rotate about the y-axis, and it's called yaw. So these are real rotations that occur that a uh, pilot needs to address when they're uh, flying an airplane. And you need to be able to visualize and understand that rotating about the different axes are, are different behaviors on a structure or on an airplane. So those are all three of them, pitch, yaw, and roll. So again, I mentioned the, the concept called the right-hand rule. This is a standard. So basically, the, basically, when you take the x-axis and you use a right hand, like on the bottom left-hand figure right here, you, if you put your thumb along the uh, uh, direction um, and you curl your fingers, that, that tells you um, what positive rotation is going to be. So if I'm putting my thumb along the z direction, then my positive rotation is around the z-axis, and you can see that it's counterclockwise around the z-axis. And that goes back to how come um, counterclockwise is considered positive and clockwise is considered a negative rotation. So again, it's using the right-hand rule. So it's very important for you when you're trying to rotate objects in 3D is to create a mental image of the 3D object. So in the beginning, you can build shapes either using snap cubes like this, or maybe you can cut things out of, if you have blocks you can put together or cut things out of paper. Um, so you can physically model how the object rotates about the z-axis and what it ends up looking like at the end. And so in the Spatial Viz app, you're going to mentally rotate these objects, and we want to know what would be the final resting position after it undergoes that particular rotation. So let's take a look at this particular video and just, that looks at um, positive and negative rotations. And we want to know if this rotation leads to the same result. We're going positive 270 degrees about the x-axis, and that ends up right there. Or what if we go negative 90 degrees about the x-axis? And you see that if you go positive 270 or negative 90, you end up at the same result. So that's something to look at. Sometimes it's it might be if you have an object that's rotating 270 degrees about an axis, it might be easier for you to visualize it going the other direction, um, negative 90 degrees about the axis. So you only have to rotate it one time. So let's look at a demo um, in the app of taking an object and rotating it about one axis. So if we look at this particular video, we're trying to rotate that object um, 90 degrees about the axis. Um, and we're going to draw it in its final resting point. So we know where the yellow dot is, and we rotate it 90 degrees about the, the vertical axis, and we end up there, and that's what we end up getting, and we do it's a great job. So you can see in Module 7, it's rotations about one axis. Um, and so it's easy because you're just doing one rotation. 
Um, however, in module eight, you build on that and it gets much harder. Now you're asked to rotate about two axes. So you're gonna first rotate about one axis in your head, and then you're gonna rotate it again about another axis, and then you have to draw the final resting point. So you have this intermediate point. So what you could do if, if you need to is you could rotate it about the one axis and draw it, and then rotate it again about the other axis and erase all the lines because you don't want to show the intermediate steps, you want to show the final resting point. So here's an example of this object that we first want to rotate um, twice, So, and we want to rotate it about um, one axis and then rotate it about another axis and draw the final resting point. So this is what it looks like, and you can see where the yellow dot is. So you can pause the video and you can go back and take a look and make sure you can see this. So that concludes the lesson on rotations, um, 3D objects about either one axis or two axes. Um, these tend to get to be, in terms of visualizing things, some of the hardest modules. So be patient, um, try your best, and keep trying. Um, and so you can go ch check it out in the app.